All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to academics, calling out Drake. And um, this should be a good one, so we'll be back. channel make sure you subscribe go over to sketch pad reaction subscribe over there torture talk far as western the media combat convo all of our channels we're trying to get to a million subscribers on every one of them if you like the content hit the like button you know what i'm saying pushes us up i see a lot of people watch us but they're not subscribed so we're trying to get to 13,000 subscribers over here and we're gonna keep it moving look we're going to listen to this audio real quick. Academics talking about uh, Drake. And um, I think this is very important. Some of the stuff he says, uh, a lot of people feel this way. So let's go. Yo, Drake, I'm going to just keep it a bean with you, bro. Bro, you, you, my, you my goat. You my favorite artist. But, bro, you got to stop the nigga behavior, bro. Why are you so fucking niggas? Bro, like, bro, like, you know niggas gonna hate you for life off of that. Shit. Why the hell are you over here trying to sell these niggas' business? Yo, the weekend, from what I've heard, he don't like. They had a little tip for tat, like. But nigga, I heard that nigga hate Drake because Drake tried to fuck or either fucked his girl, bro. Like Drake, like you're foul for that. Why are you doing this? I'm listening to this nigga sing on this album, bro. Like, this nigga, like, clearly, he's still mad. I'm not drink. Even as much as I defend you, you got, you, you're like a serial fucked up nigga, man. Wayne got locked up. You fucked his girl. Drama paid you for a feature. You fucked his girl. Yo, what's up with you, bro? What the oh. fuck is going on with Drake, bro? Yo, Drake, I'm gonna keep it a beat with you. Like, nigga, you're Drake. Of course you're gonna be able to fuck any girl. But what is coming across like you don't got no goddamn morals. You don't got no integrity. How is everybody knowing you for fucking all everybody's girl? How do you have so much beef, my brother? The weekend done dissed you. ASAP Rocky done dissed you. Yo, it's unnatural that so many people hate one guy. All right, man. Big act in the building. So look, um, he spoke nothing but truth, man. I've been saying this for a long time now. I don't know Drake personally. I don't know Drake personally. I do know that nobody messes with this dude anymore. It must be a reason why everybody don't mess with you. Everybody's away from you. Why? You know what I'm saying? Even, even, okay, you did, you had J. Cole. J. Cole been around you. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? J. Cole. But even with J. Cole, right? And I'm going to speak on this because this is very important. J. Cole stopped messing with, I ain't going to say stop messing with you, but J. Cole, he distances, he distanced him himself because he knew the comet was coming to Earth. The comet hit Earth. Blew everything up, right? But why is it that nobody came to your defense? What What is going on here? This is the biggest artist in the world who literally got his career put on pause. His career is on pause. And obviously, he's going to keep streaming because his songs are still there. But he cannot do nothing right now. Nothing. Have you ever seen anything like this in the history of hip hop where the biggest artist in the world is shut down? Boom. Quiet. Silent. Nothing. Can't do a song. 
But there's a reason why academics called him out because no matter what is being said, upstanding and moral people recognize when you're doing something wrong. And I will say that academics is the upstanding and moral guy. He not be, might not be perfect and he goes for the music, but he knows right from wrong. He knows right from wrong. He doesn't I don't I don't see him as one of those type of people who does malicious things to people. He just says it how he feels and he says it like it is. If even if he likes you, he likes 6ix9ine. But guess what? When 6ix9ine did some some goofy shit, he called him out. He still reported on it because academics consider himself a media journalist. People say, oh, he's being paid by Drake. Well, why would he be paid? If he's being paid by Drake, then why would he say all that? You don't pay somebody and they talk about you like that. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I think that he's 100% right. And I think that there's a deeper a deeper issue going on that we don't know about. We do not know about it. It's a deeper, something's deeper going on. People might think that this is some surface level stuff, but again, I'm going to keep stressing this. These people are billionaires. Anything they say can literally change the course of action when it comes to a nation of people. They literally can change the course you don't think that this is money at play, that somebody is trying to get this guy out of here? It's not only just Kendrick, and it's not only just whoever. If all the artists are staying away from the biggest artists in the world, then there's a reason for this. Something's happening that we don't know. Somebody's, written, somebody's want, wanting this guy to sit down. It's money at play. You know what I'm saying? And I think people are so naive and they think that Drake's running something. He's not running nothing. He's not. Somebody is paying somebody to sabotage this man. And I'm not saying that that he didn't do it himself. I mean, he went up against Kendrick and we seen how that happened, what happened with that. But I think that that's a reason for it. He pushed for that. And you know what's going to happen. It's like going to his demise. I kn I really believe that Drake knew he was going to lose this this war. But it is what it is. But as far as like nobody's messing with him, that's what I that's what puzzles me to this day. I'm trying to figure out, I'm reading everywhere, looking everywhere, but I can't find why everybody. And and I don't think it's just because of women. But why don't why didn't everybody don't mess with you no more? That was so fast. Like, Drake was at, he was doing his thing for 15 years. He was always at the top. Now it's arguably questionable was it's, his, the streams is keeping him there, but him as a person, he's, he's, he fell off. He's gone. He's down here now. He ain't up there no more. His music is there because in rotation, of course, it's like, it's like Stevie Wonder and, and Michael Jackson, their music is still there. Is they is they at the top? No, but their music is still there. Prince, all of them, but that's it. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna find out soon. Yeah, uh, I can you know piggyback off of what you said. You know, academics. You know, I know it might have hurt you so much to admit that academics. But the truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, the truth is the truth. He went out there. He was messing around with people's girls. That's, that's the worst, man. That means, that means, like, for one, that means, for one, you can't trust your girl around this guy. Two, you can't even trust the female because he going to swindle her and swipe her up. So like, damn, like, that's like, that's the ultimate disrespect. That's like one step closer to messing with somebody's wife. That's bad. That's really bad. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can't trust you around around my significant other, like that's bad. You know? Um and there, there was there was something that somebody said about Drake that it really hit home. I can't quite remember. But it was along the lines of being narcissistic. And that kind of like explains who Drake is right now. Um, question is, though, does anybody feel like Drake could possibly change his ways after this? Change his whole approach when he finally returns? Do you think he's going to change? I'm asking you. You think Me? he's going to change? Um, yeah. I think he has to. I think Drake has to. He has to take a seat for a while. And I think when he comes back, he has to rap. I think he come back and he raps. And I think he don't do no sneak disses. He just does good quality music. I think he should come back. If I'm Drake, this is what I would do. If I'm Drake. I'm going and I'm in the, going in the studio. I'm locking in and I'm doing a whole rap album, and I'm gonna do a hip hop album. Like I'm talking like I'm gonna get the best producers, Just Blaze, Alchemist, whoever, and I'm just doing a hip hop album. I ain't doing no singing, maybe some hooks, but I'm doing a whole hip hop album. I ain't doing no sneak disses, just hip hop, and I'm gonna show people that I am a part of the culture. That's what I would do if I'm Drake. Forget everything else. His first mistake was was replying to Kendrick when he when he, he he felt like it felt like he was defending himself. Kendrick ain't do that. So that's what I think Drake should do. Yeah, I mean that might be the best option for him at this time, you know, just go into you know laying low for a bit and then work on work on some music behind the scenes. That might be the best thing for him. And then drop a whole hip hop album, you know. And and if you do do something like that, make sure you're the one that's writing. No co no co writing. That's just not you. gonna happen. If they co writing, if right. they co writing, they gotta do the, they just gotta do the hook. The He's hook with some melodies. They, they can't write happen. your bars. It's not gonna happen. They already everybody already accepts Drake as having writers now. So he it's already it is what it is. Like he say, he say that he got Man, well, open, but it's already it's already accepted. He's a, it's already accepted that Drake has Ghost Riders, because this battle would be non and void. Yeah. If anybody if anybody would say, well, he didn't write none of those bars anyway, so it doesn't matter. But everybody's saying it don't matter. So he's he gets a pass on that. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm this, I, I'll go as far as saying this: if Drake does a hip hop album, whether he wrote it or not, and if it's fire, I, that it's fire. That's how I look at it. Because I already accepted Drake being having ghostwriters already. I already accepted it already. So if he comes out with something that's fire, then I'm gonna say, yeah, it's fire. You know what I mean? I think he could do it. I think he'll make he can make a a classic, but I think he's he's too caught up, but I don't know. But yeah, man. Shout out to academics mm -hmm. for keeping it real. But hey man. Sketchpad, we out of here. See y'all peace bye, man. Mm -hmm.